coming up on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills After Show. Point blank, did either one of you leak information no. to the press? No. You hear about like planted things and whatever. Now that I'm, I see it more, I'm like, oh no, it's very much a possibility. We're all so close with our teams. Yeah, but how would our teams know? Well, I was trying to blame it on the team. It could be anybody. I was there and I still don't know what's going on. Kathy has to own her sh too. To have these kinds of things go on and not express them, I'll get sick and die. Child, she's really in a tough place. Cause yeah. like, I want to back my sister, but these are my friends. It's your family. It's not just my sister. It's my sisters. It's my nieces, my nephews, their babies. I, I, I want those people in my life. If you're going to be forced to choose, what are you going to do? The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills After Show starts now. Kyle, at your fundraising dinner, you ask Rinna and Erica to stop bringing up what happened in Aspen with Kathy. I want everyone at my daughter's wedding. That's all I want. We have to let it go now. To have these kinds of things go on and not express them, I'll get sick and die. I think that Erica or Rinna wanted it out there because they did not like what they saw and they thought, you're not going to get away with this. I mean, Rinna says that. I'm sorry, Kathy, you're not going to get away with it with me. They were like, no, 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 you know, you don't get to be all unicorns and rainbows and then when no one's looking, do this and think you're going to get away with it. You know, from what I can remember, I said, I've been pummeled for a year and a half, so I'm going to bring up what happened. And she said, oh, so you want Kathy to be called out? For a year and a half, I've been f***ing pummeled. Okay, so that's so why you want Kathy to be called out. Yes, it is, actually. And I said, yes, actually, I do. And I do. I'm gonna talk about it. Lisa Renna has her own story. We get in the Sprinter van and Kathy starts screaming about everything. And she's saying things like, I will f***ing ruin you all. What in the holy f***ing hell? You know, in this town, it's very litigious. A lot of letters are sent back and forth from, you know, lawyers, which I have my own opinion on. But I think that what's most important is that, for me, there are not two sets of rules. There are not two sets of rules. If we're going to talk about people's lives, we're going to talk about people's lives. That's it. There was a lot of tension lingering from Aspen at Kyle's party. I think Kyle just feels, obviously, Kathy's her sister, but then she also feels, I think, a kinship with the girls. I don't want it to cause a problem between my friends and my sister, but honestly, well, I don't... Well, your friends don't seem to care about you. Because if they did, they'd let it go. So she's really in a tough place, because, yeah. like, I want to back my sister, but these are my friends. Yeah. And so I think it was really tough for for Kyle. And I yeah. remember the last, the last night, she was going to sort of stand up to the ladies. I don't want my family to get ruined. I want everyone at my daughter's wedding. That's all I want. We have to let it go now. It's really difficult because um, Lisa, you know, has always been a good friend to me. But then, you know, she had this argument with my sister Kathy. Kathy, she was saying things that can ruin people's lives forever. That's how bad it is to have these kinds of things go on and not express them. I'll get sick and die because it's that vile. It's now played out in, you know, on Instagram and all over the place. And at the end of the day, family is family. So it puts me in a very bad position. And then I sort of resent that because I'm like, I always had a good relationship with these people. And now it's been jeopardized. But family's family. So what am, what am, what am I going to do? You know, we have this bond. Who's we? All of us. Oh. We don't want our families to get hurt. No. We don't want that to happen. To me, this is like such a real hard topic. Like a lot of things that happen feel kind of frivolous. Jealous of what? Your ugly little <gasps> no, 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 no. This one's hard because family is such a big one for me. And I know that Kyle and like that group is very strong together. And I understand like all sides. I see it all and I'm so happy not to be a part of that because I wouldn't want to be involved. That's tough.
it wasn't just an argument between my sister and me. So I found myself in a very difficult position where I just ended up withdrawing from everyone, to be honest. And um, like I said, at the end of the day, it's your family. It's not just my sister. It's my sisters. It's my nieces, my nephews, their babies, who I look at, and they are my mother's great-grandchildren. And it affects all of that. So as much as something may have upset me or hurt me, you know, I, I, I want those people in my life, and um, it just makes it complicated. And, you know, if you're going to be forced to choose, what are you going to do? You know? And so I'm just kind of struggling with that right now, to be honest. At Kyle's fundraising dinner, things come to a head between Kyle, Lisa, and Erica. Something happened mm -hmm. in the tabloids. I'm not a tabloid person, but something happened, and it was about being leaked. Who oh, leaked? Oh, who leaked what happened in Aspen yeah. since there were no cameras? You don't think it's weird that at every event, every detail is being leaked to the press? Yes, I do think it's weird. I think that Lisa and Erica removed themselves rather quickly. We're leaving. I'm gonna get my jewelry back. Yeah, me too. And didn't answer questions that Kyle wanted answered. Do you think that it's somebody in this room? 100%. Oh, shit. Someone wants my sister to look bad so that they don't look as bad. I remember going to, to snatch them back in. Oh, you did. You could just hit that straight on and say, are you doing this? For the love of God, do I have to do this? Point blank, did either one of you leak information no. to the press? No. I am not afraid of either one of them. Right. And they're very scary. I will f***ing hunt you down! Trust me on this. I'll go head on with you all f***ing day. Don't talk to me like that. I Shut don't the f*** up. It's scary. And now that I've witnessed it to my face, you know, okay. Be scary to me again. So I went and got them because Kyle wanted to know mm -hmm. because it was hurting her family. Yeah. In my mind, I was thinking, OK, this is Erica trying to get everyone off of her situation and talk about what happened with my sister and me and Aspen. We're not here to take anybody down. Well, maybe it's someone saying, let's take the distraction off of Erica. I was upset about it because the facts weren't even correct. And it felt like to me, like, oh, OK, are you talking about this? to divert the attention from yourself. Garcelle, we see the ladies help you make an important life decision to buy your first Birkin bag. I was coerced. They were like, buy it, buy it. Get the bag, get the bag, get the bag, get the bag. You were part of that buy it chant. It felt like a fun thing to do. Champagne, bags, yes. girls. Can we just friends. have some fun? Yeah, we just wanted to have some fun. <laughs> With Birkins. Well, I've never gone to someone's home buying Birkins. I usually go to the store. So this was interesting. What is it? No. Get your, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> get your <laughs> hand off that oh, one. Back. Put, your, put your gloves on. They were like, you know, vintage, a mix of a collection of different Hermes bags. So it was actually really fun. And of course, I mean, I had to make Garcelle buy that bag. That's a good number for that. You change your mind, sell it. Smart. You never will, but that makes you right. feel good. That's what I do. She was really struggling, but she's wanted one for so long that I was like, okay, we keep getting birthday cakes that look like Birkins. Just buy the damn bag, you work hard. Literally though, I panicked when everybody left and I didn't take it upstairs for two days. It stayed on my dining room table because I thought if I take it to my closet, I own it's it. It's real. Yeah. <laughs> so it sat there and I told the boys, don't touch it. Don't even look at it. <laughs> like, it may not be here tomorrow. So I literally left it on my dining room table for But two are you days. glad you did it? Yeah. Okay. It's an investment, as Kyle says. You can always sell it. That's why I kept it. <laughs> I can always sell it. For college tuition. It's so funny, like the idea of a Birkin. So I remember it was getting very popular. I was probably like 26 and I remember, I'll never forget it. Rob and I were in New York at the Plaza 
and this woman had a black one. He's like, just get one, poor guy. He's the one who started it. And Rob was very generous with me. And he's like, just get one, like whatever. Like you don't have anything nice. Like you don't buy anything. And I'm like, it's fine. And at the time it was like second party, which is always more. I was like $5,500. And I was like, who would ever spend that kind of money? Famous last word. Okay, the bag over there is very distracting. I cannot either. <laughs> I hope that Garcelle had a fun experience getting her first. It's twofold, honestly. It's, it's wow, I can't believe I can afford it. And also, wow, do you really need it? Do you know yeah. what I mean? I go back and forth on that. Yeah. I mean, is it for someone else or is it for me? Mm. You know, like who am I buying it for? Yeah. To impress other people or do I really want it? I don't know. I'm going to Paris next week and I'm totally going to buy a new one. And then you have her. <laughs> <laughs>